We know that IP address is an address which is used to uniquely identify each and every device over internet. With 32-bit IPv4 addressing scheme, we can have only 2 power 32 IP addresses or nearly 4 billion IP addresses. The way this IPv4 addressing scheme works, if each and every device over internet was given a unique IP address from this address space, then it would have resulted in a fast depletion of IP addresses. One solution which was introduced to slow down this fast running out of IP addresses was private addressing scheme. For this, three blocks of IP addresses from class A 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255 and from class B 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255 and from class C 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255. These three blocks of IP addresses from each of these classes are reserved as private IP addresses. Hence, the remaining addresses are public IP addresses. Suppose we have an office network with 100 personal computers connected to a router. Now, instead of assigning a unique public IP address to each and every device within this company, ISP assigns a single public IP address for this company. Let it be 84.10.150.118. Now, this router is having an external interface and an internal interface. The address which is visible over this external interface is this public IP address. And within this internal network or within this local network, all these devices including this gateway are assigned with private IP addresses. It can be any address from within this range. Suppose our gateway is assigned with the private IP address 192.168.1.1 and the devices are assigned the private IP addresses 192.168.1.2, 1.3 and so on. So these private IP addresses should be within this range and can be assigned by the network admin himself and they are free of cost. And within this network, each and every device should be assigned with a unique private IP address. And these private IP addresses are used for communication within this network. These addresses are not visible over internet. All these devices communicate over internet through this one common public IP address. Thus the address which is visible over internet is this public IP address and the private IP addresses are used for communication within the network. Suppose this device need to communicate over internet or some other device at the other end of internet need to communicate with this device, then this private IP address cannot be used. The public IP address should be used and the translation from public to private or vice versa is made possible by a process called network address translation. Now suppose we have a home network with 4 smartphones and 2 laptops connected to a router. Here ISP assigns a single public IP address. Let it be 194.168.111.110 and within this internal network or within this local network, all the devices including gateway are assigned with private IP addresses. Suppose here also our gateway is assigned with the private IP address 192.168.1.1 and the other devices are assigned with the private IP addresses 192.168.1.2.1.3 and so on. So we can see within two different internal networks, there can be devices with the same private IP addresses but within each network, the private IP addresses are unique and these IP addresses are not visible over internet. Only these public IP addresses are visible over internet. So over internet all these public IP addresses are unique. 
This way we could avoid the fast depletion of IP addresses to some extent. So private IP addresses are the reserved IP addresses which were introduced to slow down the fast running out of IP addresses. And it has an one added advantage of security as well. Here the devices within the internal network are not visible over internet. Only the public IP address is displayed over internet. So it has an added advantage of security.